two uh, aphorisms, one by Nietzsche, one by Socrates. Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. Now, people sort of read that as he's just saying that this was just before he was to be executed. And he's saying, I don't want to live in a world where I can't question things. I would also take that one or two steps further and say that living in darkness, he might say, is not worth living, uh, which is kind of the antithesis of what I, the quote that I made of, or uh, that I took of Lovecraft's yesterday, where he said, it's uh, one of the most merciful things that there is, is our inability to see things clearly. Socrates said, if you can't see things clearly, you've got a life that isn't worth living. Um, <clears throat> Nietzsche says, without poetry, or sorry, I'm thinking of novellas here, without um, music, life would be an error. Um, that too is an interesting statement, um, because Nietzsche is known as the greatest life affirmer of them all. But he's admitting that we need other things beside reason, besides reason to make life worth living. Um, and I agree with him again. Um, our reason can give us a how, it can't give us a why. Why do we live? We need other faculties for that. Um, we need our irrational part to give us a why, and our irrational part is full of whys. Uh, Amor vacui was how one can come to love um, the void, or one can seek to love the void at least. The void simply is. Um, what we bring to the void is what gives the void its nature. Um, and if we opt to love the void or fear it, the void is therefore transformed. Lovecraft says that the void is by its nature, and, and almost sort of unalterably so, it's a horrible thing. I'm not sure, because then it's not a void anymore. It has aspects. Um, the void simply is. If we love it, we can at least say that we may not have actually transformed it, but we have equipped ourselves to deal with whatever it is.